Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick Scream Factory unboxing for you here. Um, this is Starman uh, from John Carpenter. And a very loose slipcover here, which is kind of annoying. But um, actually, I've had this sitting on my desk for the last week. I haven't been able to do an unboxing because I've been sick. So this is the first time I've been able to like actually speak for a little while without coughing. So I'm sorry if I start coughing. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I've never seen this film. Um, and I pre-ordered it. Well, when the hell was that? August, I I think. Was it August? Maybe September. I'm just trying to get all of John Carpenter's films, especially if they're released by Shock Factory. Um, this is not a horror film, as far as I know. I think it's more of a sci-fi, um, like, drama-type film. Um, I guess I'll just, well... How about I unbox the damn thing, right? Um, it's got the exact same information. Actually, you know what? How about I just open this up? I'm sorry, this is already starting off poorly. Um... Like I said, I've been sick for days, and now I'm finally just like, I'm going to do this stupid unboxing. Because <laughs> I want to watch the damn movie, too, so. <clears throat> like I said, I've never seen it. Oops. Okay. All right, cool. It's actually a real, whoops, slip cover. I mean, a case, I'm sorry. I'm fucking, I'm really messing this up. Sorry, guys. Um, There's the disc. It's the exact same as the cover art. Here's the reversible art. This is the um, original poster art, I think. Travel from a galaxy far beyond our own. He's 100,000 years ahead of us. He has powers we cannot comprehend. He's about to face the one force in the universe he has yet to conquer. Love. Interesting. And that is, um... It's, it's, yeah, it's Jeff Bridges and Karen Allen, who I don't recognize, but I'm sure I've seen before. <clears throat> And there is apparently a new interview with Carpenter and Jeff Bridges and script supervisor Sandy King Carpenter. Really, that's cool. And then trailer, two spots, still here. So actually, it's pretty light on special features. And it actually, now that I see that, it does not say new transfer at all. So that tells me it's the exact same transfer from the previous, um, is it Universal? Who wants the rights to this? Columbia Pictures, Sony. Oh, it's a Sony. Well, Sony does pretty good transfers to begin with, so I don't, um, that's kind of lame, though. They don't have an, at least a two-case transfer, or at least a, a new transfer of some sort. That's weird, but, in fact, have they done that recently? I think they're always new transfers, but whatever, I guess. Here's the synopsis. This is one of John Carpenter's best films. I've heard this is a good film. I've also heard that it's kind of a goofy film. It's from 1984. I forget the timeline of his movies. Uh, obviously, um, Halloween was 78. I think Halloween 2 was 70. F was it 80? Wait, was it 80 84? 84? 83? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of doped out of it right now with cold medicine. But um, let's look at the... There's not a whole lot to read here, so I guess I'll just do the description and we'll be done here. It says, When his spacecraft is shot down over Wisconsin, an alien arrives at the remote cabin of a distraught young widow, Jenny Hayden, and clones itself into the form of her recently deceased husband. How would he know how to do that? I guess I'll have to find out. The alien coerces the shell-shocked Jenny to drive him to a pickup point hundreds of miles away, explaining that if he doesn't meet his mothership in three days, he'll die. Hot on their trail are government agents intent on seizing him, dead or alive. En route, Jenny turns from captive to captivated as the alien reawakens her humanity. Starman is a wonderful film that combines science fiction, road movies, and romance into an engaging, very entertaining whole. Hmm. Yeah, I look forward to seeing it. That's, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, at the last uh, unboxing I did, too, I, I complained about the, um, um, case of, uh, whatever it was, I forget. And this is actually like a normal case. I don't know, I don't know how they decide... When to put like real cases and fake ones and whatever. Look at this. This is the way. Let me make this tighter. That's what she said. I'm trying to scrunch in the sides, but I don't want to fucking bend it. It's a little better. Let me show you the poster now. I haven't looked at this yet. If it's keeping with tradition in the last two months, it'll probably be better. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. The edges look fine. Oh, let me get a better grip here. Again, that's what she said. 
Sorry. I've been watching a lot of Office recently. In my last couple of days while I've been sitting at home doing nothing. Besides having cough medicine, drinking Dayquil and NyQuil simultaneously, and uh, watching The Office and The Shield. Which, by the way, The Shield has been fucking awesome. I watched the entire first season again in the first half of season two, and I'm loving it, but I had to take a break and watch some Office instead. Shit. Okay. I just look good there. And... It looks okay. It's got a little wrinkle there, but that's pretty normal. So yeah, this looks pretty good. There's a little, there's a little bend right there, but that's... It's okay. I like this commission artwork. It's pretty cool. He has traveled from a galaxy far beyond our own. I can't get it on the screen, so whatever. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I think, like, ever since they did that whole update to their um, distribution and have actual, like, actually giving a shit how they put things in the fucking um, uh, tubes, that they're doing a lot better, so. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. That might be the last thing I had on pre-order. I have nothing else coming from them, at least at the moment, and I don't know um, what else they're putting out in the next few months. Nothing that I really want. I still do want that Critter set, but it's $50. $50 is still too much for me. I would I would pay 40 I would pr prefer to play 30 but <laughs> I'll, I'd pay 40 for it, I suppose. $39.99. And at some point, it probably will be around that price, so maybe I'll just have to wait. Um... And uh, whatever else, they're probably going to announce new movies in the next couple weeks. Well, I don't know if that's true, actually, but pretty soon here, I'll just, uh, well, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm out of it. But I know that I've, I've ragged on them the last few months and whatnot, and I don't I don't like the way that they've done conducting themselves, but they've gotten a little bit better, and the map pricing seems to have faltered a little on Amazon and wherever else. People are breaking the price ranges and stuff, and so I think maybe they're... They were testing the water, see how dicks they could be, and people did not respond well, so maybe they're going to relax a little. There's actually a sale going on right now. Um, like a Christmas sale, I don't know. It's going on until the end of the year, so if you want to get out on that, go ahead, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to abstain for a little bit. I think it's 10 or 15% off most of their stock. In fact, maybe the Critters is involved. Maybe I should look at it. So, I don't know. I'll have to look at it later. Anyway, sorry, guys. Um, I don't have anything else from Shaw Factory. I actually don't have anything else pre-ordered besides the Halloween Steelbook that's coming out in a month. So I might not have any new videos in the future. Maybe I'll have, well, we'll see what I do. Nothing planned right now, so if you don't see anything from me for a while, that's because I don't have anything coming out. So this might be the last video I put up for the year, 2018. It's been a hectic, busy year of buying and selling and shit, and it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I could put up videos and stuff for you guys that you, if you want to watch them or not. Um, I don't ask for subs or tips, or not tips, I guess, subs or comments. I mean, I like comments and stuff. I try to respond to them um, while I'm at work or something because um, I'm actually on my computer more often. I, don't, I can't comment as often from my, my laptop at home because it's slow. I don't know why. But um, anyway, yeah. it's It's been a good year. I've, I bought a lot of shit. I sold a lot of crap that I didn't want anymore. I got rid of a lot of stuff that I used to collect that I decided I was no longer going to get be, like considering, uh, just to make a point, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. I sold almost every single Vinegar Syndrome that I owned. Except for a couple that I want. I kept Demon Wind, Jack Frost, and um, I actually just bought the Incubus and sold the slipcover because I uh, realized I could be buying the movies I do kind of want and selling the slipcovers. The slipcovers are what I was buying them for, and I realized that was a wrong reason to be buying them, so I decided to do that. Um, but there are a couple that I still wanted to collect on them, so I'm going to keep collecting. I actually did buy Mausoleum, too, because I was curious on that film, but I did not have slipcovers, so... What do you guys care, right? Um, anyway, <clears throat> my voice is starting to hurt again. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been a fun year. Um, next year, we'll see how things go. I have a feeling I won't be buying quite as much. But I say that every year, so what do I know? Um, thanks for tuning in when you could. Thanks for upvoting and stuff. Thanks for sticking around. I know I don't do much besides unboxings, and I know that's not necessarily the kind of content everyone wants to see, but it's the kind of content I provide, and it's the one you guys come to see, so that's cool. Um... Thank you for watching. I'll, I'll be around after the first of the year and stuff. Um, hopefully you guys had a Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, and hopefully 2019 is a decent and uh, pleasant experience for all of them. So, 
Happy holidays, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye.